What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you guys want some cheap MT, make sure to hit me up on Instagram and Twitter for the fastest and most reliable purchase on the internet right now. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video and guys today we do have some new content. We got some snipe filters, we got some MT making methods all in this video. Before we get into the video guys, smash that like button, drop the sub. Let's hit 100 likes on this video. That would be greatly, greatly appreciated man. And yes, we pulled Przingis and two Jalen Brown. So pretty solid day in packs. Um... Przingis is going for a pretty decent amount, so pretty big W, pretty, pretty big W. So yeah, we did just pull Przingis. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of snipe filters we could be going over right now to make to make you guys a lot of MT. So we're actually not going to throw a Przingis yet. I don't think it's worth it yet. I'm going to wait a little bit, but yo, today, guys, a lot of content just dropped. A huge market crash is here. And honestly, since there is no token market update, we're most likely going to see an even bigger, an even bigger market crash and an even bigger token market update coming. So content isn't done. This is not the last content we're going to get. We're going to have a lot more content coming very, very soon now. Honestly, in my opinion, I'm not the biggest fan of Flash. I don't really like the glitch cards. It's really something I really don't like in this game. I don't really like the goofy lineups and whatnot, but it's whatever. Let's get into some snipe filters, some MT making methods, and what you guys should be doing right now. So, like I said yesterday, I was like, guys, you need to sell your team. It's a very good time to sell your team. And why? Because if you look at the market now, the market is crashed. Simply crashed. So, yeah, that's why I'm saying you guys should definitely sell your team and try to pick up your team today. It's going to be a lot cheaper, but yo... Shaq Diesel Galaxy Opal Snipe Filter. This Snipe Filter is literally one of the best in the game. We got the Goat Shaq on there. We got the Showtime Shaq on there. We got the Glitch Shaq on there. So as you guys do know, these cards should be popping up all the time. Showtime Shaqs, Glitch Shaqs, whatever Shaqs. They should be popping up frequently. And let's see how much Goat Shaq is going for right now. As you guys can see, he is on the filter, man. 2.5 mil for Glitch Shack. In my opinion, guys, I think the the regular, uh, what is it? The Flash Glitch Shack is too similar for me to spend 2 million MT on the Glitch Shack or on the Goat Shack. In my opinion, guys, the Goat Shack, I mean, the Goat Kareem is still better than Glitch Shack. And you also get that whole entire set to run as well. So, in my opinion, guys, I'm not totally sure about this whole Goat Shack thing. I really do think the Flash one is too similar to really make that upgrade. But yo, it's worth trying to snipe him out. If you do snipe him out for 100k, you're a million, a million to 2 million MT millionaire just by sniping one of them. So if you guys want, I would sit on this filter all day. If you sit on this filter all day, I guarantee you to make at least a couple hundred thousand MT. Especially if you get the Glitch one or the Goat one. Showtime one's a little profit. Glitch one or Showtime one's another profit. But yo... I've been talking to you guys a lot about the market and how to sell and what to sell. So, how to sell your cards in the best way. How are you going to sell your cards the easiest, the best way possible? It's simple, guys. All you have to do is, what's it called? Uh, sell your cards at 9 to 12 Eastern at night, 9 to 12 p.m., put them up for 12 hours, wake up, and they sell for more every single time, guaranteed. I've been doing it the whole entire last couple months with high tier cards and it's been working out pretty damn good it works with cards that are above a bid it works out with buyouts decently but cards without a bid bro guys without a buyout i mean it works even better so that's one tip to you guys there's so many snipe filters going on right now so many snipe filters going on there's so many snipes going out pretty much guys anything you guys want to do let's go over some other snipe filters guys Galaxy Opal Glitched Filter is money. I think you have to buy a couple cards, though. I think Jokic. You got to buy Jokic, Hidu, and Dirk, in which I already have Hidu. So that's a W. And you got to buy Hakeem. Hakeem just got to a buyout. So that's kind of crazy. Hakeem and Dirk. 
And I think Jokic, if he is that cheap, but yeah, this filter is really good. You could get Porzingis, you could get the new Blake. There is a lot of cards on this filter that you guys could get right now to make some MT. So yeah, hopefully you guys end up do getting this, getting these two cards. You need about 300,000 MT to do this. Let's see if there is any snipes on here. Hakeem's already a buyout, which is kind of crazy. I think he's a very good power forward. I actually did pull him last week in my pack after the pack opening but here we go let's keep checking if there's a snipe on here we're probably not going to get it we're very far behind i did get hiru turkaloo yesterday for around 75k and yeah there is no snipes on this glitch filter after that whole scroll down we got blake so let's check the opals on the glitch filter we got blake griffin we got shack daddy we got lamar odom uh hakeem's no longer a snipe so yeah there's we also have glitch team ag so there's a lot of snipes. Since they keep repeating content, guys, you could literally just constantly go over all these opals, man. Glitch T Mac, Galaxy Opal T Mac. There's so much to snipe. So much to snipe. It's just who to snipe. In my opinion, guys, another one I would try to snipe is Galaxy Opal Thunder. You buy out Peyton and Sean Kemp. Then you get the two Kevin Durants and the Rashad Lewis, who's still going for stupid amounts of MT, guys. He has won on the auction for 22 hours and 27 minutes, guys. This card is so expensive, and there's literally, like, no way of getting him. Like, literally, there's no way of getting him. If you snipe him out, congratulations, you're now an MT2 millionaire, 3 millionaire? I don't even know what he goes for anymore. He's just so expensive. If you guys could try to snipe him out, that would be absolutely insane. So definitely try sniping him out. Try sniping out Goat Shack. This is what I try. This is what I would do if I were you guys, so... I'll go Goat Jordan, minimum buyout, nothing. Goat Magic, minimum buyout, nothing. I would honestly just continuously go through the Goat cards, see if you guys can get a snipe for 100,000 MT. This is honestly a pretty damn good method. Goat Will, Goat Shack, now back to Goat Shack. This is a very good way. If you guys sit here for an hour, you maybe get lucky and get a snipe. You never know what could pop up. If you get any of these cards, you make a million MT in one shot minimum. There's also the glitch, but I already did the glitch. There's a lot going on right now, guys. You can pretty much... There's also some... Here's another snipe filter I'm going to show you guys. So Prime Series, uh, 3, Galaxy Opal, Small Forward. There's a million snipe filters, guys. A million trillion snipe filters, and you never know what you could get. On this Prime Series 3 Opal, you get Kawhi, you could get LeBron, you could get Lamar Odom, you could get Paul George. So, four Galaxy Opals on this snipe filter, man. You never know what you could get nowadays. There's also LeBron James Galaxy Opal snipe filter. There's so many cards going on. So many. LeBron James Prime. Glitch LeBron James. It goes on and on and on, and there's so much to snipe. Not only that, since the market is crashed, Pink Diamond right here, man. You can get a ton of snipes on the Pink Diamond filter. You just got to find a good bid. Just go through here, find a good bid, and it's a W. There's so much going on, guys. You could pretty much sit on the auction for about an hour and probably make 100,000 MT per hour just grinding the auction. Uh, let's check out on Pascal Siakam. Here's another tip. If he goes to a buyout, you probably want to buy him and then sell him later. And he went up a ton. So, wow, guys. There is a lot going on right now. There's people going up. There's people going down. There's a market crash. There's not a market crash. Personally, man, I wouldn't even buy my cards this week. I think the market still has a lot more to crash, a lot more to go down in value. So, I guess we're going to have to see what's going on with the market and whatnot. There really is a lot going on. There is, and honestly, I don't know how to say this. Would you buy what I buy my team today? It really depends what cards you're getting. If it's high tier cards, I would wait. Even if it's like cards that are barely a buyout or barely a bid, I would still not buy. I would buy cards that are buyable right now, like buyouts. You could buy buyouts, try to snipe out buyouts. Cards that are over a bid, I would wait. I think they're gonna drop even more in price. But honestly, guys, that's really it for the video. There's a ton of snipe builders you guys should be doing ton of empty methods right now there's just a lot going on so yeah another opal pull please be shack please be shack who's this who is this kings oh we got boogie cousins so that's our fifth opal pull of the day and yeah we're gonna end on that hope you guys enjoyed the video man stay tuned for more content have a good one guys peace